Hey everyone, I thought today we'd make a poncho. So what you're going to need is a small polar fleece, 1 inch by 4 inch, some bias tape, and a flannel, and then your front and your back pieces for your poncho cut out of flannel and polar fleece. On the back, you're going to have a slight curve for the neck, and then you're going to curve down have a cornered. You're going to do this the same for the polar fleece. Then you're going to have your hood. Hood is optional, but we chose to do one. And you're going to cut out two pieces just like this out of flannel and polar fleece. Then we're going to do the front. The front, you're going to have a deeper part for the neck. You'll curve out and you'll have a straight side to match the back and a curved for the front. Now begins the pinning. You're going to pin your hood together, right sides together. You're going to do the same for the polar fleece. And then you'll stitch around. You're going to pin right sides together of the back of the poncho to the front of the poncho. You'll do this for both sides as well as you'll do it for the polar fleece. I like to pin about every inch and a half, two inches. This is just to avoid any moving of the fabric while I'm sewing. I do suggest pinning everything first before you go and sit at the sewing machine. Now onto the bias tape. To make bias tape, square off and then sew on an angle, corner to corner. You'll sew that and then you'll cut away that excess. It's hard to see here, but you'll do that until you reach the length of bias tape that'll go all the way around the trim of your poncho. You'll see it's on an angle there to avoid any bulky seams when you're sewing. Now you're going to take everything that you pinned and get to the sewing machine and sew. I sew everything with a 5 eighths of a seam of allowance. When you're sewing with polar fleece, sometimes it's be easier to go slower. Now I like to trim away all the excess. Because this is going to be a total reversible poncho, I want I don't want a bulky seam, so take your rotary cutter and trim away. For the hood, I go around the edge and I clip. Make sure when you're clipping not to clip through the stitches. You can do use, uh, I call them crocodile scissors, but you can use those instead if you wish. Now turn the right sides out and put right sides together for the hood. Matching up the top seam, open up the seam and pin. And you're going to pin all the way down the sides, leaving the bottom open and exposed. Again, using a 5 8 seam allowance. And it's okay if one is bigger than the other, they're inside out, so it's fine. You'll notice my polar fleece is about a quarter inch, looks quarter inch bigger, but and there you have it. Now you're sewing them together where after you turn it inside out. Sorry for the camera. Now iron it, iron your bias tape. I choose to do this. It's not always necessary, but it makes it easier when you're going to the sewing machine. And when you get to the bulky seam, make sure you really press that down. You can open it up if you choose. I just like to press it to the one side. So here you turned 
the hood right side out. Make sure you line up all your edge there. Get it nice and good. You can see I'm just pushing out the seams a little more. Now I'm going to take my pins and I'm going to pin along the edge and I'll top stitch this. This is just to avoid it from turning right side out again. It gives it a little more stability. And I use my pins the other way because this is, I just want to make sure it doesn't shift. Back to the bias tape, you're going to fold it in half and just leave it folded in half because once we start pinning the front and the back of the poncho together, you'll pin this with it, just with the raw sides together. Like So now that that's top stitched and everything, we want to line up our center of our hat with the center of our poncho and then just pin all the way around. Now you're, you're pinning, if you notice, the right side of the flannel with the right side of the flannel poncho part and there is going to be about 5 eighths of an inch from either side of the hood. This is because when we sew the polar fleece with the flannel, we need that for the seam allowance. This is a very simple project. It sometimes is time consuming, but I whip one of these out in about a half hour now. So once you get the hang of it, it's really simple. Just a lot of pinning. Now you're going to go to your sewing machine, so a 5 eighths of a seam allowance. Then you're going to take your polar fleece with right sides together and make sure you're sandwiching in that hood. The hood should be against the polar fleece right side. It should not be on the bottom. You're going to pin this along. Make sure you match up your seams from the side seams of the poncho. And again, we're going to sew this a 5 eighths of a seam allowance. So right on the same stitch that you just did prior. You can choose to do one out of 3 eighths and then this one out of 5 eighths. It's up to you. Now for the pockets, with the right sides out and right sides together, you're going to sew the 1 inch by 4 inch little pockets. You pin it down and then you sew a square like this and then take your rotary cutter and open it up. It's a little hard to explain but hopefully you can see through the picture here what's going on. And if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below. So I'm clipping it so I can turn it right sides out. This is going to give the other, the right side out to have a finished seam. So we're going to pull the square on the outside, pin it, and then we're going to go back to the sewing machine and sew it. I use about, I just use my foot really as my guide for this part because you want to be as close to that edge as possible. You're going to do the same for the other side of the poncho, so they have two armholes. So now we're going to pin, pin along the sides of the poncho. Once you're done pinning, you got to pin all the way around, match up your bottom seams, and sew a 5 eighths of a seam allowance. Once you're done sewing that, trim it down to about a 3 eighths from the seam and then you're going to pin your bias tape raw sides, remember me saying about the raw edges, raw sides together and when you have all of that pinned down you're going to head to your sewing machine so again, pinning can sometimes take quite a while and just really make sure you have a big space to lay this out because the flatter it is, the easier it is to sew. If you're in a small space, sometimes get down on the floor and start pinning there just so you can lay it out so you can see all of it. So here you see the raw sides are together and I'm sewing, again, about a 5 eighths of a seam allowance for my first one. 
Now I'm going to sew this all the way around. Careful when you come to the curves because you want to make sure you get all of the fabric. You're sewing through right now four layers of fabric. So once that's done, you're going to trim it and then you turn it over with that folded edge and pin. You can see how I'm just pinning it all the way around. I'm covering up my seams with this bias tape. Now if you notice the 5 eighths of a seam has actually gone down to about an eighth of a seam allowance. This gives the room for the pinning. Now back to the circle, the square, sorry. We're going to cut it out so we have a nice little line and then this is where it comes in the hand stitching. You're going to fold it, once you get it cut open the way you want, you're going to fold that out, fold it inside and then you're going to whip stitch it by hand so that you have a fully done pocket, no raw edges seen. And this gives it the ability to be reversible. Now as you can see my bias tape, I actually use, you can do an in the ditch stitch to catch the other side of the bias tape, but I like to use an S swirl and then do an in the ditch. Just gives the edge a little more decorative look. and it makes the in the ditch stitching a little more easier because you don't have the pins in the way. Once you're done sew hand sewing the pockets, your poncho is almost complete. All you need to add is your buttons in the front, which I like to do three, and we're done. Or you can do a tie string, but other than that, your poncho is ready to be worn.